All right. A little pissed off here. If you all recall from my last video, Geek Fuel changed their subscription, okay? They went from boxes to bags, all right? So this caused me in my last video to cancel my subscription. Why unbox a box if it's not even gonna be a box? If I remember correctly, they switched from a box, which usually had four to five items, to a bag, which will be mostly just a t-shirt subscription. So I think you get a t-shirt, a small item, and then store credit for whatever inventory they have on their website. And they tried to sell it to us like, hey, we're changing the subscription and you pay less money now. Isn't that great? Uh, lucky for you guys, I did some math. The subscription that I had still had one month left to go and that's what we're opening now, okay? So with my former subscription, I calculated with my Geek Fuel box plus shipping, that was $27 every month. And for this uh, very last month, the charge that I got was $24 with shipping. So the idea is that Geek Fuel's going to cut all their costs, give us less product for $3 less to the customer. So where you were getting a t-shirt and a bunch of random shit, now you're only getting a t-shirt, one thing, and hopefully store credit that they want you to spend in their store so you'll spend more money for $3 less. I think I'd rather just get the box, wouldn't you? Anyway, my Geek Fuel was supposed to ship to me on Wednesday which is late, which is also an issue that I've had with Geek Fuel for like the past year. They always ship shit late. This t-shirt subscription was supposed to fix that. And sure enough, I was supposed to get it on Wednesday, which was what, the fifth? And it said it delivered. I go uh, to check, there's nothing there, nothing delivered. So then I pay attention to how they shipped the items Geek Fuel used to ship with FedEx, which was very reliable actually. So when they chose to actually ship the item, you would get it with a reliable service. They switched to USPS, the United States Postal Service. I live in a large city. The USPS is not reliable at all. So to me, that package is gone forever. I say sayonara, whatever. I'll eat my $24 and say see ya to Geek Fuel forever. So I was planning on doing a Geek Fuel this week. I figure that's never gonna show up, so I get prepared to do an entirely different video. I write out a full script to do a whole fun video, and sure enough, I get home, and there's a Geek Fuel item here. And it's not a bag, like they had promised. It's a box. After all that bag talk, I got a box. And this box is heavy. This is the heaviest Geek Fuel I've gotten in a long ass time. What the fuck? So then I dive into my emails just to take a look-see poo and I see that Geek Fuel just today charges me after I've already canceled my subscription, they charged me for next month's bag. for their t-shirt subscription. I canceled my subscription on video. And they signed me up automatically for a monthly t-shirt subscription. What the fuck are you doing? So immediately I canceled that before it could actually ship out because who knows when they'll actually ship it. So even if they ignore my cancellation and send me a t-shirt bag, I'm not gonna open it. This is my last Geek Fuel video, okay? I'm done. I'm done. Let's see what's in the fucking box. Stop sending me shit. All right, I got a note. Included in your March shipment will be the first ever T Plus Club edition as well as additional collectibles. Oh, uh, we take care of our last prepaid box, blah, blah, blah. To take care of your last prepaid box, blah, blah, blah. It would appear that they've also gotten rid of their fancy card, like I suggested forever ago. Those budget cuts are really showing, Geek Fuel. Okay, so it looks like this is their t-shirt subscription, all right. This is what I was supposed to get in the mail on Wednesday. I thought it was just gonna be this, but they gave me some 
extra shit. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Here's the stuff we're supposed to get. So, you got your $5 value card, gift card to the Geek Fuel store. That's where they want you to go buy out their inventory. Hoping that you'll spend your hard-earned cash on shit that they've already sold before. You get this uh, hoverboard bottle opener. I actually really enjoy this. This is awesome. They posted this all over their social media, though. I expected this. I will say, though, a bottle opener that's a hoverboard from Back to the Future is pretty fucking cool. Let's open it up. Okay, here you go. Yeah, a hoverboard bottle opener. Let's test it out. Sweet. I like it. Nice little last send off for me, huh? Okay, and the t-shirt. Pitbull. Hoverboards. With even more power. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It seems like this is Pitbull Hoverboards, I'm assuming is the brand in, in Back to the Future. Can you uh, confirm that for me? Somebody confirm this for me. Good quality t-shirt, I like this. It's a good shirt. Not gonna lie, uh, I'm not gonna miss the shirts though, because I'm getting out. There you go, pit bowl. There you are, and it says the hoverboard stuff there. Yeah, it's radioactive. Yep, I'm assuming that's Back to the Future. So the mystery of what is in this goddamn box: Super Shakers. If I had to guess, this is just stuff that they've already sent before. I have these because Geek Fuel has sent me these before. Pepper Shaker. That's Luigi. Very nice. It's a hat. And your salt shaker is got some dust on there. It's been sitting in the warehouse a long time, huh, guys? Salt shaker is Mario. Cute. Again, I already have these. Got an Aladdin tiki mug. So you got an Aladdin Cave of Wonders tiki mug. So this is uh, that tiki mug theme they had a couple boxes ago. Before I got, uh, what was it, Scar. So, Tiki Mug, and it is different from what I got before, so that's nice. Let's take a look. Sweet. This is pretty cool, I'll say that, but first off, it's obnoxious. And here. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at this thing. Look at this thing compared to my hand. It's huge. Again, all right. This is gonna just have to serve as a decoration because I don't know how to drink out of this. How do you logically drink out of this? Yeah, I spilled, I spilled. Gross. You see Aladdin on the back there? All right. And now the last item of my last geek fuel. It's a pin. Okay. So you got a pin of Archer's mom. You know, from the show Archer. Is that just a lot? Anyway, you guys know how I feel about pins, so. Fucking hate them. Maybe just one last trip to the pin bin. Huh? All right, that's it. My last Geek Fuel. I'm not opposed to getting another box at some point, but I'm gonna have to get the uh, awful taste of Geek Fuel out of my mouth. So maybe I'll just wait for the final downfall of Geek Fuel so I can bask in its glory. Because it seems to me by all these budget cuts they've made that they're uh, getting pretty desperate. So just doesn't feel right getting a bag and not a box and unboxing a bag unbagsing stupid so yeah before i go maybe let's take a little trip outside shall we Back up in your ass with
and resurrection is the group part of an erection that shows no affection. They want to ban us on Capitol Hill, cause it's die, motherfuckers, die, motherfuckers. All along it was a ghetto, nothing but the ghetto. Taking short steps one foot at a time and kept my head low and never let go. Cause if I let go, then I'd be spineless, I'm going insane. I think my mind just goes out of control and touch on subjects, but the 